Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Teacher Josie, which will discuss to you about electrons and energy level. Have you observed the different colors of light by these fireworks? Do you know what is responsible for this array of colors? Would you believe that this is due to the arrangement of electrons within the atoms? Are you now excited to discover more about the atom? Let's begin. For the objective for today are Relate colors of light emitted by metals to the structure of the atom in fear that electrons can stay only in definite energy levels. Identify the energy levels, sublevels, and atomic orbitals in an atom. Determine the maximum number of electrons that can stay in an energy level. Fireworks effects are produced by the combustion of explosive materials present in fireworks. These explosive materials are also called metal salts. Metal salts emit characteristic color of light when heated. The following are examples of color emitted of some metal salts and its element responsible for its color. Red is produced when strontium salt is present. Orange is produced when calcium salt is present. Yellow can be seen if sodium salt is present. Green can be seen if barium salt is present. Blue will appear if copper salt is present. While purple will appear if it is a combination between copper and strontium compounds. Silver can be seen when magnesium and aluminum is combined. White color is produced if there is a presence of magnesium, aluminum, and titanium. What can you conclude about the element and the color of flame produced? Each element produces its own characteristics of color. If sodium nitrate is changed to another salt of sodium, example, sodium chloride, do you think the color of the flame would be the same or different? Why? The color of the flame will be the same. It is sodium atom that will give color to the flame. Have you ever seen a rainbow when watering plants? What do you call of this color? The spectrum is the range of different colors which is produced when light passes through a glass prism or through a drop of water. A rainbow shows the colors in the spectrum. It is the visible light spectrum. What is the visible light spectrum? The visible light spectrum is the segment of the electromagnetic spectrum that the human eye can view. More simply, this range of wavelengths is called visible light. Typically, the human eye can detect wavelengths from 380 to 700 nanometers. Each color of light has specific wavelength. When you say wavelength, it is the special period of a periodic wave, the distance over which the wave shape repeats. Among the visible light, Red has the longest wavelength and has the lowest energy. Violet light has the shortest wavelength and has the highest energy. One can detect a series of narrow lines or line spectrum on the light given off by an element. The spectral lines suggest different energy levels in an atom. How did Niels Bohr explain the spectral lines of an element shown in the spectroscope? Each line in the atomic spectrum of elements suggests definite energy transformations within the atom. Bohr stated that electrons are moving around the nucleus in circular path or orbit at definite distances from the nucleus. This is similar to the planets revolving around the sun. Electrons in each orbit have definite energy. This energy increases as the distance of the orbit from the nucleus increases. These orbits are also known as shells or energy levels and are assigned each a number n is equals to 1, 
n is equals to 2, n is equals to 3, and so forth. Or letters k, l, m, n, o, and so forth. As long as the electron stays in its given orbit, there is no absorption or emission of energy. If the electron receives extra energy or absorbed energy, it can jump into a higher energy level. This is called excited state. The electron in the excited state can return to its lower energy level or ground state by releasing discrete amount of energy or emission of energy in the form of light. An Austrian physicist, Erwin Schrödinger, together with Werner Heisenberg and Louis de Broglie, made a refinement of Bohr's atomic model. Schrödinger used mathematical equations to describe the possibility of finding an electron in a certain location. This model is known as the quantum mechanical model of the atom. An atomic orbital is the region around the nucleus where the electron is most likely to be found. The atomic orbital serves as the house of the electron. It can accommodate a maximum of two electrons. Aside from the main energy levels and atomic orbitals, there are also energy sublevels as shown by the finer lines in the atomic emission spectra of elements. The color light blue, green, blue are the energy sublevels. The number of electrons in the main energy level is determined by the formula 2n squared, where n is an integer that designates each energy level. For the first main energy level k, or n is equals to 2, the electrons is 2. In the second main energy level l, or n is equals to 2, the electrons is a. The third energy level, n, is equals to 3, the number of electrons is 18. And the fourth energy level, n, is equals to 4, the number of electrons is 32. The sublevels are s, p, d, f. The number of orbitals in each sublevels the sublevel S is equals to 1 orbital. The sublevel P is equals to 3 orbitals. The sublevel D is equals to 5 orbitals. And the sublevel F is equals to 7 orbitals. Let's have an activity to understand the concept. This atomic model presented by Bohr is comparable to a staircase as shown on figure below. When you walk up or down the stairs, your feet must hit the steps, not on the empty space between each step. Otherwise, you will be in trouble until you hit another step. The higher you climb the stairs, the more energy you need. Similarly, the electrons can only stay in a definite energy level and not on the space between energy levels. The farther the energy level from the nucleus, the higher the energy. Similar with the electron, what does the man require to climb up the stairs? That is, energy. When going up the stairs, is it possible to reach the top instantly? It is not possible. What happens to a person attempting to step on the next level with insufficient energy? The person cannot climb to the next level. Can electrons occupy any space between energy levels? The answer is no. Let's proceed to activity number two. Complete the table below. So number one, one, number and kind of sublevels, 
number of atomic orbital is 1 and the kind of atomic orbitals is 1s. The maximum number of electrons is 2. Main energy level 2 or L, the number and kind of sublevels 2 open parenthesis S and P close parenthesis. The number of atomic orbital is 4. The kind of atomic orbitals is 1s and 3p. The maximum number of electrons is 8. Main energy level 3 or M. The number and kind of sublevels is 3. You have the S, the P, and the D. The number of atomic orbital is 9. The kind of atomic orbitals is 1s, 3p, 5d, and the maximum number of electrons is 18. For main energy level 4 or N, the number and kind of sublevel is 4. The S, the P, the D, and the F. And the number of atomic orbital is 16. The kind of atomic orbitals is 1s, 3p, 5d, and 7f. And the maximum number of electrons is 32. Main energy level 5 or O. The number and kind of sublevels is 5. That is the S, the P, the D, the F, and the G. The number of atomic orbital is 25. And the kind of atomic orbitals is 1s, 3p, 5d, 7f, and 9g. The maximum number of electrons is 50. Main energy level 6 or P. The number and kind of sublevel is the 6. You have the S, you have the S, the P, D, F, G, and H. The number of atomic orbital is 36. And the maximum number of electrons is 72. Lastly, the main energy level 7 or Q. The number and kind of sublevels. You have the 7, the S, the P, D, F, G, H, and I. And the number of atomic orbital is 49. And the kind of atomic orbitals, the 1S, 3P, 5D, 7F, 9G, 11H, 13I. And the maximum number of electrons is 98. Let's proceed. Activity number 3. Illustrate the atomic model of the given elements. Carbon atom has 6 electrons. So we have here an example. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are 6 electrons present in carbon. What about in magnesium having 12 electrons? What do you think is the answer? The answer is... Okay, so if you count, you have 12 electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12. Beryllium has 4 electrons. What do you think is the answer? You have 4 electrons. And chlorine has 17 electrons. The answer is? Do you have the same answers? Good job, everyone. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.